the developers of the sprawling Stamp Industrial Park in rural Genesee County had a problem. They had begun to recruit companies to the site, which was little more than fields and woods. It needed infrastructure, including water and sewer lines, an electric substation, and a wastewater treatment plant. The work required permits from the state and federal government. Complicating matters was the industrial park's location, surrounded by environmentally sensitive lands and adjacent to the reservation of the Tonawanda Seneca Nation. Regulators needed to do a lot of homework before deciding whether to issue the necessary permits. The developers of the industrial park, the Genesee County Economic Development Center, grew impatient. I poured through 10,000 pages of emails and other documents, and I interviewed 20 people, including attorneys, government insiders, and members of the Tonawanda Seneca Nation. What I found was an unusual degree of pressure coming from the offices of Governor Kathy Hochul and Senator Chuck Schumer, first to grant the permits, and then in one case, to reverse a decision to revoke a permit. We need executive assistance to get DEC to issue the permits. The regulators, squeezed from above, took action that in some cases violated federal law and state policy, including the Clean Water Act. It had to have been political interference. It was impossible to understand it in any other way. Problems ensued. Permits to build a nine-mile-long wastewater pipeline violated the Clean Water Act. Contractors, during construction last year, spilled drilling fluid into federally protected wetlands. Another issue. Both federal law and state policy required the developers to consult with the Tonawanda Seneca Nation. Little occurred. The pressure peaked in the summer of 2022, and emails show a flurry of activity. The Genesee County stamp officials needed nine permits so Plug Power, a company recruited to the site, could continue building. By the end of the summer, records show the DEC bent to the pressure and issued all of the permits, including one in violation of the Clean Water Act. The head of the Genesee County IDA wrote to the deputy DEC commissioner to thank him for the help. Sean, first off, I wanted to thank you for the assistance and priority focus put on getting the nine remaining permits and clearances issued. Last year, when the Federal Fish and Wildlife Service planned to suspend a permit so it could do more environmental studies, Schumer's staff intervened. So what do the governor and the senator have to say about all of this? Schumer's office refused a request for an interview, but they released a statement that characterized their involvement as, quote, routine. Hochul's office refused repeated requests for an interview. And when I approached Steve Hyde, the head of the Genesee County Economic Development Center, he walked away. Could we schedule an interview? No. In its own statement, the DEC said that it followed all rules and regulations. Meanwhile, the Tonawanda Seneca Nation is afraid of what Stamp could do to the Big Woods, a forest they rely on for food and medicine. Nation members worry that the industrial park will hurt their land, drive away the deer they hunt, or poison their well water. We're still trying to save the land. They're still trying to take it. It's still the same story. And it's just the stakes are higher now. Today, the project still lacks permits, and the Tonawanda Seneca Nation continues to raise objections. For Channel 2 News, I'm J. Dale Shoemaker with Investigative Post.